But okay, um, I want to make this brief video real quick. Um, this one's probably going to be a hard one right now. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you, Kobe Bryant. Thank you, Black Mama, for making me a fan uh, over the last 20 years. Um, I haven't related to any other NBA player like I did Kobe Bryant. Um, this one is a tough pill to swallow because I was such a fan. Uh, some people say I was a fanboy. And I can admit that 30 years, man, I, I traveled down that road with Kobe. Even though I don't live in Los Angeles, I... I did it from the TV screen. It felt like I was at Staples Center every time the Lakers played on television. You know, I couldn't make it to the arena. If I lived in Los Angeles, by golly, I would have been in Staples Center <laughs> um, watching the Lakers play. You know, it's it's tough for me because um, I found out about Kobe probably about 1997. Um remembering the Kobe Bryant that used to shoot the eyeballs in the Sprite commercials and uh, Kobe that dated Brandy back in the day. I was young when I uh, found out about Kobe Bryant and I knew that he was going to be destined for greatness. <laughs> he was just such a cocky person, man. I just loved his arrogant attitude. Like, he knew this dude was going to be destined for greatness, man. Um... I even go, like I said, I go all the way back to the Dale Harris days with the Los Angeles Lakers when they had Nick Van Nex with Eddie Jones, you know, and Eldon Campbell and them boys. And um, Kobe Bryant wasn't really getting a lot of playing time back in the those days, but, you know, he was going to develop into what he became. It's hard for me because I think about the beginning. It's not so much as the end of his career. I think about the beginning of the electrifying Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal days. Them teams when they had Ron Harper and A.C. Green and Derek Fisher. And, um, you know, Devin George, Phil was the coach. You know, the three-peats, the playoff battles with Sacramento, San Antonio, Portland, Phoenix, Minnesota, you name it, though. The Kings really tested us in 2002. Robert Ory, too. He saved us in 2002 against um, – Sacramento, Spurs was always in our way. Kobe the fro, man. I, it, it, it's, it's very, it's very, it's very tough. It's very hard to get up here and say that Kobe Bryant's funeral is going to be on the 24th of February. Same as his number. The trials, the tribula tribulations, the battle that Kobe Bryant uh, went through. From losing Shaquille O'Neal, having to rebuild, Phil coming back, getting Pau Gasol, drafting Andrew Bynum, Lamar Odom, Ron Artest, just the championship years, man. Just the championship years of excellence. And I just thought Kobe and Shaq could have squashed their beef and won more championships. But Detroit got in our way. And um, 04 and um, beat us. Suffered our defeats to San Antonio. Got beat up by Boston, 08. But it was a lot of things Kobe did individually. Like the points he was putting up in 2007. I think like uh, he had like a lot of 60-point games that year. Um, he had a streak going. The 81-point games. The shot he shot against uh, Phoenix, um, Miami, Milwaukee. You know, he hated the Celtics. He hated he hated that team. You know, I know and I know he hated Sacramento. Um he got into a lot of fights in the NBA. He fought Reggie Miller. He fought Chris Childs. You know. He idolized Michael Jordan. So I'm just trying to keep this brief. I'm gonna miss Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna miss the Mamba. It's hard for me to just realize that, man. My idol gone, man. Number eight and 24, man. The best gun gutter to ever do it. Wasn't afraid of no challenge. And that's why we jumped aboard on, uh, when Shaq left, we stayed because Kobe, he us, man. He us. And I can't believe, man, that he gone and his daughter gone. And, uh, 
all the people who died in the plane crash. Gone, and you know, he was happy in retirement. That was even a sad day. Just seeing him retire was sad. But this just take the get cake, because, man, we ain't never going to see him again. You know, um, just model this game after Jordan, man. Baby Mike. Um, always, always winning. Always wanted to win a championship. Always wanted to win a, a championship. That's what he was all about was championships. And the mama mentality started way when he came into the league. You know, things 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 didn't work out though. You know, like when we got Carl Malone and Gary Payton, it didn't work out. We got the White Howard. And Steve Nash, it didn't work out. Think we, we lost. We suffered our defeats. And we got back up and we won championships. And that was the only thing that we lived for was championships. You know? And um, just thinking about that purple and gold jersey and the legacy that he left, you know? And just all the slam dunks and the highlights and just going up against people like, okay, come on. Uh-uh. He gathered the troops around. And if you weren't ready, he was going to give you that smoke. That's what the today's NBA players don't got. They don't got that heart like Kobe Bryant did. And this emotional video for me because I just want to say thank you, man. I can't believe you gone, man. I can't believe I ain't never going to see you on TV again. Can't believe it. People say, oh, you don't live in Los Angeles. You ain't a real fan. That's not true, man. I grew up with Kobe, man, like everybody else did. Get people criticizing, you know, oh, you know the real Lakers fan. I just, you know, just didn't like what Jim Buss did to the team, man. I love the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't like LeBron James. I, I don't like LeBron. I was always Kobe. And um, I just want to say rest in peace, man, like. Try not to cry because it's, I'm on YouTube. Just thinking about the memories, man, of a 20-year career, the Mamba, and just watching every playoff game and celebrating when they, uh, when they won a championship, like in 2010. I watched all those games, man. And um, Kobe, thank you. Um, thank you for inspiring me and Thank you for making me a fan of yours for 20 years. Even with Shaquille O'Neal, you know, you still here. Thank you for the memories and the time that you gave us, man. And we really going to miss you. Rest in peace, brother.